Now the first thing we're going to change is since uh, we're going to be using this for many different countries, we want to change uh, Euro transaction to exchange transaction so it's more universal. And then the next thing is I'm going to put in Europe and then I already added England earlier. Now we will need to change uh, these function prototypes here. I've already changed the one but I haven't changed the other. So budget and then either budget so it lets us have uh, access to either one and then you want to change this to a double foreign currency to make it universal as well. Now we move down here to vacation budget and then the exchange rate. Well since it's uh, now the Europe vacation budget we need to change that and as well down here and then when you get to uh, number dollars you want to put number dollars in Europe and then number euros can stay the same now we're going to be uh, adding the different ones for England so dot exchange rate and that's let's say 1.5 and then will be vacation budget England the budget and let's say we have two thousand dollars in the budget for England and then double number dollars in England equals 100 and another double number pounds and that will also be 100 okay now we're moving down from kind of all the declarations of all the numbers into where we delegate out some responsibility to the functions and the NS logs. So the first one, it used to just be number dollar or spend dollars, number dollars, but now it's spend dollars, and then you have the vacation budget, except we do need to add Europe to it because it is now. Uh, the budget for Europe and then we have need to change it for number of dollars in Europe. Now when it's uh, NS log converting uh, US dollars from budget of a thousand into euros leaves then we want to make sure that it says number dollars in Europe and that the vacation budget Europe. Now this first part is just changing it to make it more extendable and then when we start adding like all this stuff when you add England it's actually pretty easy but it's just kinda annoying now because you gotta go back and change some of the names because it wasn't very extend it wasn't very universal the first time we uh, built it. So now we can move on down to charge foreign currency because you don't want that to be euros anymore. So you change that to foreign currency and I actually forgot something up here. You want to change this to foreign currency as well because like I said earlier want to make it all very universal so then you also want to give the address for vacation budget 
for Europe. And then you have number of euros. Okay, and then the NS log afterwards, it's number of euros, and then vacation budget, and make sure it says Europe. Europe and the budget. So that is all correct. Okay, let's move on to England now. So we will declare spend dollars and it is going to be vacation budget England. And then the next part will be number dollars in England. And close that out with semicolon. And then the NS log will be converting percent dot two F US dollars from a budget of two thousand ooh. Did I do something wrong there? Whoops, there we go. Okay, from budget of 2,000 into pounds, leaves percent dot to F, then close it out with your quotation marks. Okay, now we're gonna end it off with number dollars in England, <clears throat> and then vacation budget England dot the budget. So then we will go to charge foreign currency. We will be using vacation budget, the England, and then number pounds. And then S log. Now charging percent dot two F pounds leaves dollar sign percent dot two F quotation comma number pounds then vacation budget England dot the budget. So there we go. Now we should be all done with main and I'm praying that I didn't mess up because that was quite a bit of code that we did there. Hopefully I won't get any errors. But let's move on down. Okay, so we did have a very simple little spend dollars or spend dollar function and it's still fairly simple but we did add in the pointers. So um, we've pretty much done all the modifying for the first one there. We have uh, either budget, then we have dollar, double dollars, and we have the little uh, pointing deference operator there. So we're pretty much all done for that one. <laughs> Thank you.